Hi guys, what's up? Another season, no, season six, uh, second week. I almost said season two, week six. And obviously you guys can- That was a long can... time ago. <laughs> that was probably like two years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, but it's between uh, our boy Cronus and our buddy Lunatic. So you can see them, they're both highlighted in green. Uh, the first video that we did uh, was ugly. I, uh, I, I, I free-handed it, if you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into the match. Let's not take any dilly-dallying. We'll go, uh, what would you say, slow? Pause yeah. if needed? Yep. Yep. All right, and here we go. So I was live on this. Got fat head. He is a fat head. I do not like a. I mean, not a bad mon, but just I don't like his big fat head. So this play right here, mm. Cronus yeah. man, made me sad. Yeah, I, I get, understand it though. Yeah, me too. I mean, because it's like it's it's like first turn kind of, but right. that's yeah. just not but the yeah, way. It, it only works the first turn the mon's actually in. Yeah. Which uh, there's a lot of interactions like that in Pokemon too. So. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if I remember, there's a Tox. Yep. Yep. Coming in. Also, Melodic yeah. and Swampert. Very cool mons. Miss the Muddy water. muddy water. Miss. Why Muddy Water over Surf? I was also kind of wondering that. Or a Scald, even. Because Scald yeah. would be nice to... I mean, you could burn the... Uh, I mean, you could burn anything, basically. Yeah, besides you could burn anything. That you was can't scary. Rotom, but it's still gonna. Hurt. Yeah, this uh, little drummer. Yeah. Set up. There's the fake out. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. However, that that just, just does, does so much. So much. Little mini Rillaboom. Outrage. All right, now I like we bring in the play. Latios. I also like the nickname of the Latios, Dragon Sword. And uh, so Pink I like Sperm. this play. I like yeah, that too. We'll I talk like, about yeah, this play. Yeah, yeah, we did Dragon. talk about this. Yeah. Then I like we that talked Dragon. about how we didn't like this next turn. Yeah, the second Draco, uh, I don't think that was necessarily the play. Maybe it was better to like swap to something else. Swap to Mimikyu. Well, no, not Mimikyu, because he does swap to the Mimikyu, and I think I, I don't like that play either. Because you hard swap to mimic you and lose your disguise. Well, so he only lost his disguise though because it wasn't because of the rocks; it was because of the shadow ball. Yeah, that's what I mean. You hard swap to mimic you and you lose your disguise. Okay, yeah. I well, I was yeah. just thinking because I was like, well, I mean, to be fair, he didn't know that Mew had a shadow ball. But if it didn't have shadow ball, that would have not been a not been the well. Worst if I mean thing. any attacking move, you're going to lose your disguise. Though. Right, but you might not lose the mimic you right after that. Is more right, what I was getting at. Seeing right. the shadow ball. Oh, I think I would have swapped into the Gigalith straight away. Yeah, that's fair. Also, that Stone Edge uh, sucked. Yeah. This is where it gets a little... Uh, but that um, ate, ate that so well. I mean, the Sandstorm definitely helped. Yep. Um, and Mute right... doesn't really like those Stone Edges. No, it doesn't. And if he pulled out a crit, it would be uh, very, very mm -hmm. bad. For Because I, I do believe this goes on for a couple turns. Stone Edge... It does. Roost, Stone Edge Roost. And then either Lunatic decides not to risk it or realizes that he can't Roost up enough because he swaps here mm -hmm. into the Swamper, which is a good play. It was a good play. Because Swamper's physical and ignores I, the Sandstorm. Yeah. Good swap there by Cronus. I with agree. His Gigalith Preserved. Flip turns right out into ice. I oh, thought it was the Rillaboom, again. but okay. Um, and by Rillaboom, I'm wacky. I do get what he was doing with the Mew, though, because like, if he missed again, he could get the Mew back to full health and then swap, yes, which I think is true. what he was hoping for. Yeah. And then that flinch again, which just makes the Toxic even worse. Mm hmm. So it goes back into Gigalith, gets the Sand back up. Gigalith was kind of a low key, uh, really. Like, in, maybe not the MVP of the match, but, like, he was good. It's definitely... It's the, one of the best defensive mods of the match. Yeah, I agree. 
Uh, Swampert also, I mean, obviously. Flip turn and then back into Fathead. Right, which is great because, I mean, what's Latios going to do to it? It's going to take another fake out. That fake out. Fake out was like, just kept whittling down poor Cronus. Well, and so this way even Saxton worse is, you. yeah, yeah, which uh, he needed to. I mean, he didn't want to take a, because, I mean, the Persian's thick defensively, but especially defensive, so, not so much, right? Cronus must have predicted the Swamper coming in there, because hmm. he went for the energy ball. I mean, it still killed me, though. So foul play. Foul play. Which I'm surprised he did foul play there and not fake out again. But the foul play ended up being the better play. Yeah. And then I, I was just I shocked on this. Yeah, I couldn't. I can't believe. I always forget. Uh, you and I were talking. Um, we just both always forget about fur coat. Fur coat, yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that what his ability is called? Down. Is it fur coat? I think so, fur coat. Yeah. Then little drummer boy comes in and just cleans. Grassy glide. Such a good move. It is so good. I mean, especially when you set your own freaking terrain. Yes. Also, so much stuff going in the, on in the background. There's either grassy terrain or sandstorm up almost every turn in this match. Yeah. So it's like you're getting healed, but then you're getting bu or hurt. Yeah. Except for now, the, that's gone. and I can't believe how many kills the Thwacky just earned. Me neither, but I mean, Thwacky? So. I mean, gra like you said, I mean, grassy glide's scary. Espe uh, what does uh, surprise me is that he wasn't uh, banded getting all those kills, though. It's true, yeah. What was he? I, he, I mean, he was like Swords Dance something, maybe Eviolite. I have no idea. You can let us know if you watch it, Lunatic. I don't yeah. Know. What a... So, Lunatic again has Dragapult just sitting in the back <laughs> the entire match. Terrifies <laughs> me. His top two mons of this match were a Thwacky and an Alolan Persian. Physically. Swampert was definitely yeah. there to be a defensive check. Also, I don't think uh, Rotom made a... Uh... I don't think Rotom popped in, did he? No. Nope. I mean, to be fair, Rotom uh, would have gotten annihilated by Gigalith. Yeah, Gigalith and... Uh, yeah. Uh, melodic, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, but uh, these are actually all the matches that we have so far. As more become available, we will record them. Um, so, yeah, yeah, GG's though, guys. And uh, I, I I like the way it ended, and uh, I like the uh, ballsy Draco from Cronus, which, I mean, made sense to do. Yes. And uh, right. helped turn the game around. It did, a little bit. yeah. Helped keep him in it. Definitely. All right. Well, uh, any final words for uh, this one? No, but just that I'm terrified to fight Lunatic because he just made a thwacky the MVP of a match. Oh, I fight Lunatic. <laughs> and I fight Cronus. <laughs> Both scary teams. We'll see you guys on the they next are. one. Peace. See ya.